We all know the five oceans of the world. The Pacific, Atlantic, Southern Arctic, and Indian Oceans. If you look at a world map, it may seem like there's just one big body of water and then land on top of it. But what many people don't realize is there are quite vivid borders between these oceans. The most prevalent of which is the border between the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at why these two oceans don't mix. But first, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Check out this image of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans meeting. It seems like there's a real border between these oceans. But of course, there isn't some kind of invisible wall separating these two oceans. These oceans are right next to each other and there's nothing separating the two of them. But for some reason, they don't seem to be flowing into each other. Otherwise, they'd just be one solid color, not two colors. But as you can see, the Pacific Ocean is a darker blue, while the Atlantic Ocean is more of a greeny blue. You may think that water is water, so why don't they just mix and flow together? Well, what many people don't realize is there's a lot of things which can impact water's mixing. As we see from these two oceans, water can look very different. And water can also have a totally different chemical makeup, even if it is water. The waters from the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean have a totally different density and chemical makeup. The biggest factor is the difference in the salt in the water. This is what's known as aqua salinity, and this border between waters actually has a name. It's known as an ocean cline, which basically means a split between two bodies of water, which can be seen by the human eye. If you fly over the sea in an airplane and look down, you'll likely notice some of these from your window. But sometimes they can be trickier to spot. So why is the border between the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean so obvious? Well, it's because it's not just an ocean cline. Instead, it's an ocean halocline. This is basically where two different bodies of water have drastically different amounts of salt. In this case, the Pacific Ocean has a lot less salt. That's what gives it that deep blue color. But the Atlantic Ocean has much higher levels of salt, which gives it that kind of green tinge. For a halocline to really be visible by the human eye, there needs to be five times more salt in one ocean than in the other. You can actually do a pretty cool science experiment at home, and you may have even done this in biology class. Go down to the beach and collect some salt water in a glass. Then in that same glass, pour in some fresh water, maybe from a water bottle. You'll see that the two waters don't mix, and you'll be able to see a subtle difference between the two colors. This is a way to make your own ocean cline in a glass. Of course, in a glass, this will mean that the ocean cline will be horizontal and not vertical like in the ocean. I'm sure in physics class, we've all done the experiment with density in liquids. Your teacher probably poured honey, dishwashing soap, water, and oil into a glass. All of these different colored liquids won't mix because they're different densities. The honey, which is the most dense, will be on the bottom, and the oil, which is the least dense, will be on the top. Well, this is kind of the same thing with ocean climes. In the case of the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean, the Pacific Ocean is the least dense of the two. That's because it has less salt, meaning it weighs less. And because the Atlantic Ocean has more salt, it's more dense, meaning it weighs more. So if you put some of the Atlantic Ocean and some of the Pacific Ocean into a glass, the Pacific Ocean would be on top. And because the Atlantic has a higher density, it would be on the bottom. But why does that not happen on the ocean? After all, the border between these oceans is horizontal, not vertical. Well, one of the reasons is the densities are not that different. Although they are different, they're not as different as they may be. For example, if you replaced the Atlantic Ocean with honey, then that would go underneath the Pacific Ocean. Then all you'd see is the Pacific Ocean, and then the underlying layer would be honey. Mmm, swimming in honey. Another reason why this ocean border is not horizontal is because of inertial forces. Basically, because the Earth is spinning, this means that there is Coriolis force. This then deviates these oceans from their natural course. This is what gives us gravity, the Earth spinning. This causes the Atlantic Ocean to flow counterclockwise and the Pacific Ocean to flow clockwise. This means the two flows are different so they will not mix. But there's another ocean-based question many people wonder. That is, why do you sometimes see square waves in the water? Well, we all know that normal waves occur from winds. Wind blows the water and then this makes a wave. These are known as swell waves, but sometimes storms in other oceans can cause what are known as crashing waves. These are waves caused by storms sometimes far away and not just wind. So when a local wave caused by wind and a crashing wave meets, this can cross the waves. This is often known as a cross sea, which makes square waves. But if you ever see square waves, then get out of the water immediately. That's because if you get caught up in them, you'll never get out. The waves are basically trapping you in, almost like quicksand, and you'll likely get pulled under the water. Thankfully, cross seas only occur very rarely. 
But when they do occur and people get stuck in them, the people often don't make it out alive. But now it's time to make your opinion heard. Do you have a fear of the ocean? According to one survey, 70% of people do. So vote in the poll in the top right corner and make your opinion known. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.